sleep under. Have you ever disagreed with your friends about what to do together? What did you do about this problem? It's okay to feel differently than someone else, but it is important to talk to each other so you understand the problem and can find a solution together. In this story, one child doesn't want to do what her friends want to do, but she is afraid to tell them and ruin their plans. When she finally shares her feelings, they are able to figure out a new plan that works for everyone. As you listen to the story, pay attention to the problem that arises when the characters feel differently about the same thing and what they do about this problem. Creepy creatures and ghastly goblins, said Kayla, reading the cover of Gabriel's new book. That's perfect for the sleep under tonight. We can bring flashlights and tell scary stories. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, agreed Gabriel. Just then, Max and his twin sister Maddie came across the school playground to say hello. What are you two doing tonight? Max asked. My brother has a baseball game at the park, said Kayla. So we're going to have a sleep under there. Do you want to come too? Don't you mean a sleepover? Asked Max. I think it's too dark and chilly to sleep at the park. No, it's a sleep under, explained Gabriel. It's kind of like a sleepover but it only lasts until bedtime, and then you go home. Max and Maddie thought that sounded like a lot of fun. Okay, said Kayla. Meet us at the baseball field tonight at 6. Wear your pajamas, and don't forget to bring blankets, pillows, and flashlights. The kids could hardly wait for the end of the day. That evening, when Maddie and Max arrived at the park with their mom, they found Kayla and Gabriel at the baseball fields with their families. We brought everything you said. Max told him excitedly, and popcorn, too. Great, said Kayla. Let's get going to the treehouse. Oh, we're going to the treehouse? asked Max. I thought we were going to stay here. Yeah, replied Gabriel as he picked up his pillow and started walking. The treehouse is just right over there, and it will be a lot quieter. Max glanced at Maddie, but she just shrugged her shoulders and started walking. Max shook his head and gave a big sigh as he followed her. As they walked to the treehouse, Kayla and Gabriel told their friends about the last sleep under they had there. They hung blankets over the treehouse windows to make it nice and dark, so they could play games by flashlight. You're being awfully quiet, Maddie, Kayla suddenly noticed. Oh, I was just thinking about the treehouse, Maddie replied. I've never been inside. Well, then tonight should be even more fun, grinned Kayla. When the kids arrived at the treehouse, Maddie looked nervously at the tall tree. You can start taking things up, she told her friends, and I'll sit down here with the rest of our stuff. Max put his hands on his hips and looked at Maddie, but she just turned away and handed Gabriel the bag of popcorn. Maddie frowned as she watched the kids climb up and down the treehouse ladder with all their things. Are you coming now? Gabriel asked. I don't want to go up there, thought Maddie, but she just nodded her head. As Maddie cautiously walked over to the tall tree, her brother suddenly stepped in front of her. Do you want to tell them now? he asked. Maddie shook her head. I don't want to ruin the sleep under for everyone, she said. Maybe I should just ask Mom to take me home. It's up to you, Max said. But I think it's okay to say how you feel. Hey, everything is ready, called Gabriel and Kayla as they climbed down the ladder. Maddie stopped to take a deep breath and finally told her friends how she felt. I don't want to go in the treehouse because I don't like being up that high. I don't even like going on the jungle gym at school, and that's a lot shorter than this tree. I wanted to tell you, but I didn't want to ruin the sleep under. She looked at her friends nervously, and her friends smiled at her. Next time, just stop and talk to us about it right away, said Gabriel. I used to be really scared to climb up there, too. Okay, said Kayla. So here's the situation. 
Maddie doesn't want to go in the treehouse, so we need to figure out a solution. The kids talked about going back to watch the baseball game instead, but everyone still really wanted to have the sleep under. I have an idea, Kayla said excitedly. What if we just move the sleep under down here? The kids thought that this was a great idea, so they hung some blankets from a low branch on the tree to make a fort. After they piled their pillows inside, it was the perfect place for a sleep under. The kids read some scary stories from Gabriel's Creepy Creatures book, and then they made up some of their own. Maddie made up a story about being in a haunted treehouse at the top of a very tall tree, and it was pretty scary. Thanks for changing the sleep under plans for me, Maddie said to her friends. Sure, Gabriel answered. It's okay that we disagree sometimes. We figured out a new way to have a sleep under, and this was a lot of fun too. When their families came over to the treehouse after the baseball game and heard how much fun the kids were having, they decided to set up their own chairs and blankets and join the sleep under. Everyone told stories and ate popcorn until the stars began to shine brightly in the sky, and then it was time to go home. They all decided that this had been the best sleep under ever. You're serious, my